Hey guys, welcome back. And in this video, we're going to learn about how you can make a currency system. So the first thing I think to do is actually design that little like GUI thing, which like uh, shows you how much coins or whatever you have. So let's do that. Click on starter GUI on the Explorer tab and search up screen GUI on advanced objects. Okay, double click and you have created your screen GUI. Now, as you may have noticed, there isn't any like changes after you inserted the screen GUI, okay? That is because the screen GUI is a container, okay? So it's like this container for like visual objects that you can interact with, uh, but they're 2D, okay? So to actually make something appear, let's just search up text label, okay? So this is basically like, you know, as, as you can see, text, okay? So let's make this look nice, okay? So background transparency will decrease, well, we'll make this white box thing uh, transparent. Actually, let's just keep that box. I think it's gonna look good. I, I hope so. So this is how much currency you have, okay? Um, let's just make it text scaled, just like this and change the font to any font you'd like. I'm gonna go with bottom black and change the text color tree to something which represents currency, I guess. Something yellowish, uh, just like that. I mean, you could um, customize this however you want. I'm just making it look half decent, I guess. Uh, let's just change the background to uh something like that give it a border of four yeah so this is basically your currency now um and let's just make this dollar sign zero so you have zero coins whenever you start okay so let's just rename this and make sure it's organized that's what i emphasize on uh currency and this is going to be uh UI or something, you know. Uh, so how would this work? If I joined, uh, my currency would not increase, okay? It's just it's gonna stay the same. So let's work on actually making that uh, based on your actual currency, like the player's currency, okay? Uh, you could untick this, this isn't necessary. Uh, let's create a script in service script service. Okay, delete everything and let's call this currency handler. Okay, so the basic premise of what we're going to do now is whenever someone joins, we're going to create a value, okay, which holds how much currency they have. Okay, so game.players.player, added connect, function player. Okay, so whenever a player joins the game, it's going to connect this function and run it, okay, with this parameter. This parameter is basically like the actual player object. So this would be the player in our case, this guy right here, okay, me. Uh, so let's create a new value. Local value equals instance dot new int value. Let's make it a number value actually. Uh, player value dot name is equal to uh, let's just call it like currency okay so what the, what this is going to do is we created a variable okay a local variable uh and it's this instance dot new here is going to create a new number value okay so this is just basically a value which holds a number okay inside our player object okay so create a new number value inside our player object okay and then we're just going to name the value, which is this new number value, okay, to currency. So if we click run uh, and go to our player object, inside there's going to be a new value called currency, okay? Now, uh, let's just do this for show, okay? Uh, while wait, tree do, by dot value, okay. Basically, every three seconds, okay, 
forever, but this is a while loop. I covered them in my previous video. So if you don't know what while loops are, you could just go check that out in my loops video. Um, if you do, great. So this just runs every three seconds. Um, so now the value of our number value will be increased by five every time because we're setting it to the actual value that exists. So this is going to be like, um, this is a multi-line comment, by the way, if you don't know what that is, check out my other videos. Um, so they start out with zero. Okay. Then it's going to be zero plus five. Then it's going to be five plus five. 10 plus 5, 15 plus 5, you know, it keeps on going like that. So now if we click play, every three seconds, our currency will add up by 5. Okay, as you can see, 5, 10, 15, etc. Okay, so you may have noticed that it's not showing up on our little uh, GUI here. So let's make that work. Okay, so we need a local script. For this to work so a local script is basically like this version of a script okay which works on the client side okay so the client side is basically like your machine and the server side is what you cannot interact with it's basically what you don't want exploiters or hackers to steal okay so let's call this uh currency no that that would be confusing because there are two currencies just Let's just call this main or something, okay? Uh, so let's declare our player, okay? Local player equals game players dot local player. So in every single uh, local script, if you declare game dot players of local player, it's gonna get the respective player, okay? So in my case, it's gonna get covert code. In your case, it's always gonna get your username, okay? Um, so if for example, your friend Joe joins the game and this runs, it's going to get Joe. Okay. Always. It's, it's, it's respective to the player. Okay. So then, uh, we just stored the player inside this variable. Okay. So now we know that a currency value is created every single time a player joins. So to fix that, just go, I mean, to actually utilize that, just go to player wait or child currency changed connect function value okay so okay sorry i had to pause the uh, recording so uh not sure where i was exactly but uh what this is gonna do is whenever a player joins we know we created a currency value okay so we wait until that currency value exists and whenever it is changed, we're going to run this function. Okay. Uh, the parameter here is actually the value of the currency value. Okay. So then we need to do script dot parent dot currency dot text equals, equals value. Okay. So script dot parent dot currency uh the text equals value oh um we also want that dollar sign so we just extended this with the value okay um another thing we want to do is uh actually set the so imagine the player joins with a hundred coins for example uh this is not going to show the coin value until it is changed so we actually want to uh, declare this uh, right here, I guess, uh, something like this will work. So it's, this is going to just listen, but this is actually going to declare, uh, the text label whenever someone joins. Okay. So like if you join with a hundred coins, this is going to change your text label to a hundred coins. Okay. So now if you click play, it should, uh, update. Yep. So. As you can see, your currency now syncs with your uh, actual value, okay? So, I mean, that's, I guess, how you can make a currency system. Although, now, if, say, you wanted to um, reward the player, okay? Uh, let me just do that for you guys. So, let's just create a part and resize it to, like, 444. Yep, something like this. 
let's make it nice and red okay uh make it nice and glowy neon uh yeah is it anchored no we need to anchor this so let's just make it so whenever someone clicks this they get values i mean they get currency okay they get coins or whatever okay so let's create a mouse i mean a click detector in here search of click detector while you're hovering on i mean where you, while this is selected basically uh just double click this and there's a click detector okay now what this does is it allows you to actually click on parts okay so let's go to our currency handler and go to workspace wait for child part okay so the part you can just name this whatever you want just let's call this give money okay dot click detector okay dot mouse click connect function player okay so this let's just print out player so this is just to verify it works okay so whenever someone clicks this uh see it prints out who clicked it okay uh let's go back here now let's increase their value by five every time they click it okay so let's just go to player.currency.value equals player.currency.value plus five so we're gonna find the currency value which we create in player in this event here okay in this function um and we're gonna modify the value to make it the actual value that exists right now plus five so we're gonna add five every time they click Okay, so let's just test this out. Uh, bam, every time someone clicks this, they get money. Okay, so now you could obviously just modify this code here to uh, give players coins whenever you want. So for example, if they could complete an obby, uh, you could just give them coins, for example, you know, reward them with something. Um, yeah, let's just make one to also remove your coins just so I can show you how to actually do that. Uh, let's call this, actually, let's make this green, the one which gives you coins, and the one which you, uh, removes coins will make it red, okay? Uh, same thing, just copy and paste, okay? And let's wait for child, remove money this time. Workspace, don't remove money, don't click detector. Every time someone clicks, bam, same thing. And now we want it to be minus five. Okay, you can modify the five to whatever you want. Uh, so now, if I get me some money and I click this, it's gonna start removing my money. Okay, as you can see. Uh, now this will also go into the negatives, so not a problem. But uh, typically, you don't want people to go below zero currency. So let's just do a little sort of condition just to make sure this works for you guys perfectly. So if player.currency.value minus five, okay? So if the player's currency minus five is going to be less than zero, I mean, let's just, yeah, let's do this. I'm gonna explain why. So if we're gonna decrease five from the player's currency, okay? and that's gonna be greater than or equal to zero then we'll remove it okay uh, what this is doing is just basically making sure that every time you deduct coins uh, it sh it shouldn't let you go below zero okay so now let's just test this out uh let's just get a bunch of coins and now let's remove a bunch of coins Bam! I'm as you can, like, yeah, if you probably you can probably can hear that. Um, if you can't, then print going to below zero. Okay. Not allow it. So this is gonna print out this whenever someone tries to go below zero. Okay. So, bam. See, as you can see right here, it printed out going below zero. But if we do this, it will still work until you hit zero, okay? So that's pretty much how you make a currency system. 
Um, if you have any suggestions for future videos, just put them down in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you all for watching.